Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, uh, I'd like to ask the gentleman if he could leave, leave uh, uh, allow me 20 seconds to respond at this time. The gentleman yield uh, uh, 20 seconds? Sure, I, I yield. Thank the gentleman for yielding. I just want to clear the air. This committee, and I apologize to the uh, Prosecutor General, you weren't here in this committee two weeks ago when we had a hearing, but the rest of us were. Uh, it was clear. We had the Inspector General's reports uh, and, and evidence of, from the State Department, from USAID, and from the Department of Defense, and a third party, Deloitte accounting firm, all looking at, at all the monies that were expended by American taxpayers. And that money was, their report was, it was spent uh, with uh, responsibility, full accountability, and there was no evidence, no evidence uh, to the contrary. I yield back to Mr. Phillips and thank you. Uh, thank you, and, and thank you, Mr. Chairman, for the recognition. Uh, I'm disgusted and I'm horrified. Uh, I've served in this institution for four years and today changed me. Horrified and disgusted by what I saw on that screen, the video of the atrocities. Horrified and disgusted by listening to the most heartbreaking testimony I've ever heard by survivors of Vladimir Putin's war crimes. And frankly, horrified and disgusted that a colleague of ours on this esteemed committee would inject Hunter Biden in today, today's discussion. It's sickening, it's disrespectful. This is not about Hunter Biden, this is about Vladimir Putin, it's about genocide, it's about depravity, and it's about war crimes. And that's why we're here. And to the survivors that we heard from today and to the people of Ukraine, I want to assure you that on a very bipartisan basis, I assure you that these barbaric acts have no place in the civilized world and the United States will be your steadfast partner in bringing Russians, the war criminals in Russia, to justice. That's why we're here today, and I ask and invite and encourage my colleagues to focus on that. Mr. Costin, thank you for being with us. Uh, I would like to ask a question about the Wagner Group. Mm -hmm. uh, as the ranking member of the Middle East, North Africa, and Central Asia subcommittee here in Congress, I've seen mm -hmm. Wagner mercenaries commit horrific abuses and war crimes throughout the Middle East for years. They're doing it again, I believe, in Ukraine. They're essentially agents of the Russian state, I think we'll all agree. So my question is, are there war crimes also an extension of the Russian government. Once again, I'm sorry, are there war crimes? Are there war crimes, Wagner war crimes? Yes. Extension of the Russian government policy? Ah, yeah, in your I, estimation. Understand. I understand, thank you. Thank you, thank you for your words of support and thank you uh, for your questions. Uh, this is actually the matter of uh, some of our investigations because you know that uh, they are very careful in, um, how to say, hiding the financial roots and their relations between their groups in Africa, in some other countries. We know about Caribbean now at the moment, exactly. and uh, their actions in, uh, in Russia and in Syria and, and now in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So for that, I asked uh, for the very comprehensive uh, and, and uh, unified um, uh, joint efforts in order because we need to, uh, to not only to fight against them to put an end to their actions, but also to find evidences, enough evidences that they are the part of Russian governmental machine as one of its proxies. For that, once again, we need support on the level of investigation, prosecution, and findings on also financial level. Do you, have you found coordination between the Russian military and Wagner? Uh, yes, for, for on the battlefield, of course, they, their military part, they are uh, just the part of Russian regular army. So they are coordinated by the same uh, military command. But we are also talking about the, the other part of Wagner, not only which are used on the initial battlefield, but the other part which is involved in uh, committing war crimes against our prisoners of war, against our civil population on occupied territories. So there are several angles of their activity. Thank you, sir. I, my time is running out. I just want to encourage this committee and this institution and this country and the entire free world to employ what Franklin Delano Roosevelt referred to as the arsenal of democracy uh, to ensure that not only does Ukraine survive but thrives and that we pursue every single war criminal in this world. Uh, we will not rest until we do so. Thank you. I yield back. 